caravan of migrants heads to the U.S., President Donald Trump has vowed them, has vowed rather, to keep them out. Now some in the caravan are turning the tables on the Trump administration. KKL 9's Randy Page is live at the federal courthouse with details on their strategy before they even arrive. Randy. Crystal, their strategy can be seen in this class action lawsuit. Simply said, we'll see you in federal court. The class action lawsuit filed on behalf of these people seeking asylum who are marching toward the U.S. border is asking a federal court to put a stop to the Trump administration's plans to build a tent city to house families with young children and permanent detention for asylum seekers unconstitutional and in violation of federal law. Undocumented immigrants have constitutional rights. Mike Donovan, president and CEO of Nexus Services, which is covering the legal costs, says President Trump's description of the people in this so called caravan. You got some bad people in those groups. You got some tough people in those groups. Is simply not true. It is actually the opposite of what the president is saying. Donovan says these are people who couldn't afford to pay gang members to help them travel, so they've banded together for safety. He says one of the named plaintiffs in the lawsuit is a young gay man who was beaten eight times by gang members in Honduras. The last time he had four broken bones uh, and in some internal bleeding. There's also a Honduran woman whose husband is both a police officer and a gang member who put a hit out on her and their young daughter after she divorced him. And there were three attempts on her life. She left under the cover of darkness to save her and her seven-year-old's life. Today, President Trump we appeared to walk back Trump this comment he made yesterday. When they throw rocks like they did at the Mexico military and police, I say, consider it a rifle. With this statement I today. Shoot. I didn't say shoot, but they do that with us. They're going to be arrested for a long time. Donovan says thousands of members of various militias are heading for the border right now, armed with rifles of their own, who may choose their own rules of engagement, and innocent lives could be lost. If it actually happens, we'll never be able to come back from it. We'll never be able to pretend like it didn't happen. We'll be defined by it. Ca calling this an emergency, they're asking the court to move quickly. They hope to be in front of a judge within the next few days. In downtown Los Angeles, Randy Page, KCOM 9 News.